you guys did pretty well with the uh, previous uh, section on uh, solving problems. So the steps are the same. I'm just going to give you a different formula. Um, so it's basically the same idea, just sort of a different application kind of thing. So after today, you will know what the word voltage means, and you'll be able to solve V equals E over Q problems, or else I'll be very upset. Well, you don't want to know what else. That guy. Who is that guy? That's Electro, I think. Comics, yeah. He's got a good costume. Yeah. Okay. So I have to admit, voltage is a very challenging thing to explain. Okay. Let's begin by reviewing a little bit about current, because they kind of go hand in hand. Okay. So. I think I got this from Mr. Dick, so yeah, that's a little bit, wow. Okay, so let's talk about what a circuit is, first of all. A circuit is when a wire is connected to the terminals of a source, making a complete path. And the key idea there is that there has to be a complete path, like a roof. Okay, much like, um, say, the pipes in your house, right? There has to be a route from the hot water tank to the shower for the water to get there, right? There has to be a route from the uh, electrical panel to your outlet in your room. That type of thing, right? That's a circuit. And we already know that a electric current is simply a flow of charge. It is actually electrons moving through the wires, right? E negative, that's symbol for electrons. Moving. Electrons must be moving for there to be a current. What's the what's the letter for current? No. I. I. I is the right one. And what is the unit for current? Amps. Amps. Q is charge measured in coulombs. I know, it's a little confusing. We come back to this in grade 11 physics as well, you guys, a little bit. That's in my class from yesterday. Uh, yeah. They're doing, a, they're doing a research project on a guy named Milton, who actually determined how much charge there was on a single teeny tiny itsy bitsy, uh, no, electron. How small, how much? 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Or 0. 0.000000000000000000016 coulombs. So, electric current is a flow of charge, or I equals Q over T. The higher the current in a wire, the faster the charges are passing through. And you're going to see that after the holidays, when we build circuits online, you're going to see the electrons moving faster through the wires. Okay? A lot of teachers explain it by talking about the flow of water, how fast the water comes through the garden hose. Okay? So the higher the current in the wire, the faster the charge they're passing through. Related to voltage. Oh yeah. Symbol for current is I. Units for current, amps. Am I going too fast? I'm good? Okay. The amount of current that flows past a point per second. That's kind of the definition of current. Okay, so current amount, or sorry, yeah, current is the amount of current. Hey, I think I found a mistake in my notes. Did anyone else spot it? What is the mistake on this page? I just realized. No? How can I say that current is the amount of current that flows past a point per second? How can I use the word in the definition? Oh, I said it. It's the amount of charge, isn't it? I'm going to blame that on Mr. Dick because these are this is his PowerPoint that I borrowed from him. The amount of charge that flows past a point per second. Okay, let's get right to voltage. Oh, right. What do you measure current with? I didn't tell you this yesterday, but there's two things you can measure them with. You can measure them with, them with, with an ammeter. Not amp meter, but ammeter. Or if it's a really teeny tiny amount of current, you measure it with a galvanometer. Okay, it's just a really precise uh, And you're going to use those. Um, we have some actual ones here, but we're going to use the ones online uh, to get an idea how those work. Okay, are we now? Oh, okay, there's a galvanometer. 
There's a go. That's an amp meter. Got to get one on it. See, it's got a G there. Oh, okay. Come on. I want. I want to talk voltage. No. 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 He wants us to give us. You're not that good. No kidding. There we go. Voltage. Okay. The symbol for voltage is the letter V. That's convenient. Although, inconveniently, Wrong. the unit for voltage is volts, which is symbolized by the letter V. So you'll have something like V equals 9V. So it can be a little confusing. I believe common practice is to make the second V, the units, a small one, although most, and when you look on a device, it quite often just says 9V, like a big V. So it's kind of all over the place. Okay. So voltage is used to describe the amount of potential difference in energy. It's how much energy those electrons have. Okay, and I'm going to try and explain that to you right away. Um, it's a challenging concept. I think right up to about grade 12, it's pretty challenging to really, really get a good idea. So don't don't freak out if you don't get it right away. What do you measure with? Exactly. Measure with a voltmeter. That's easy to remember. Measure with a voltmeter. Now I need to get some pictures, right? Okay, so the pictures try to describe it. There's a voltmeter. You can tell because it has a letter V on it. Here we go again. Oh, yeah. So electric current versus potential. Okay. If you've got low current and low voltage, right? You got a little weakling here. You don't have very many of them, right? Each electron has very little energy, and there's only a few of them. They're not much good. Low total energy. They're not very strong, and there's not very many of them. Low total energy. Excuse me. Low total energy. Now, having seen that, I'm going to guess that you can look at the next one and kind of figure out what's going to happen there. What changed in the next picture? More. There's more of them. So what's going to change in our sort of description? Is it going to be current or is it going to be voltage? It's current. High current, low voltage. You got way more of them. Way more minions. They still aren't very strong. High current, low voltage. What's our overall energy? Each electron has little energy, but there's lots of them. So you sort of got eh, moderate or medium total energy. Moderate total energy. Okay, what's changing in the next picture? They can lift more the, except there's not as many of them. Exactly. So what are we going to write? Uh, each electron has lots of energy. Low current, high voltage. They're yellow. Well, yes, they're a little jaundiced, they're a little yellow. Each electron has lots of energy. Lots of energy, but there's not too many of them, right? So there's, it's still pretty powerful. There's a fair amount of energy. I think we're going to have here moderate total energy. So the current is related to how many. And the voltage is the, you know, the strength. You could probably fill the last one in by now, right? Nope. There's lots of energy in there and lots of High current, high voltage. Look at how many of these strong men there are. Each electron has a lot of energy. And there are a lot of them, so my total energy is going to be? High total energy. Keep in mind those pictures. Okay, that's a good visual uh, explanation of. This says electric current versus potential is another word for voltage. They use them interchangeably. Potential or voltage. High total energy. Okay, what comes next? Okay, I got it. Third thing. Third thing. Okay, so gravity versus voltage. This is the common explanation for voltage. Put your pencils down and just listen for a second. Just listen, don't write. 
When you raise something in the Earth's gravitational field, it gains potential energy. When I lift up the bottle of pancake syrup, and those of you that are here today, wow, we sure enjoyed delicious pancakes, didn't we? No. Didn't we? Yeah, yeah. When I lift up the bottle of pancake syrup, it gains potential energy. Because if I drop it, well, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I dropped that once to a ketchup bottle, and there was ketchup on the ceiling for weeks. It landed right on the corner like that. It was my grill, yeah. Literally, like weeks later, I see ketchup on the ceiling. Like, huh? Okay, so when you raise something up, and it doesn't have to be pancakes, syrup could be anything, right? It gains potential energy. It will start to move if dropped. Same idea in voltage. You have to separate charges. Remember we talked about charge separation, pulling the positive and negatives apart? And if you do that, right, if you've got positives here and negatives over here, well, they are separated. separated, but they also want to do what? They are attracted to each other. They want to move apart. So it's like taking, if I sort of rotate it this way, if I didn't have the negatives here, I had the negatives like this up here, right? They are gravitationally away. They want to fall. Same idea as the pancake syrup. So when you separate the charges, they want to get back together. So that separation is a potential energy. And that's what voltage is. It's how much separation there is. So I say in voltage, you have to separate charges, like lifting the object. This creates potential energy that is released when the circuit is complete. So when you've got a 9-volt battery that's in your remote control car or whatever, there's electrons and protons that are separated, and they want to provide energy. They just need a circuit to complete that path. Does that sort of kind of make sense? I get that it's not going to be like, oh yeah, I get it 100%. It's a hard concept. Okay? As long as you understand that voltage is like a potential energy and it's amount of energy. That's a good start. And here's the formula. It's V equals E over Q, where V is voltage, measured in volts conveniently. E is energy, measured in joules. Now, interestingly enough, I'm talking about this with my grade 12s. When you look at pancake syrup, the energy is listed on here. Do you know what it's measured in? No? Calories. Right? Calories of energy. Pancake syrup has 240 calories per quarter cup. Okay, that's food energy. That's potential energy as well. Just like electric potential energy here. Calories and joules measure the same thing. Okay? And Q is charge measured in coulombs. Everybody knows this means E divided by Q, right? Divide by? Can you put the E over top? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Just in a PowerPoint, it's kind of hard, that's all. Yeah, I would I would normally write it like that. That's how you write. Can we rearrange that formula for the other ones? Absolutely, I'm going to show you those as well right away. So V voltage is equal to energy over charge. I'm going to come, yeah, we're going to do it on the next slide here, right? While well, I'm having a look around, I'm just looking to see who's still finishing up. Okay, so other versions of the formula are E equals Q times V. Now, please make sure that I got that right, because I had a little bit of an error the other day, right? That's Q times V, or Q equals E over V, divide by V, right? Q times V or E divided by V. Those are just the other versions of the formula. Okay? And again, I want to just let you know, moving forward, grade 10, grade 11, especially grade 11 physics, when you come see me, all I'm going to be giving you is something like V is equal to E over Q, and you have to do the rearranging yourself. You know, I'll help you, obviously, but I'm not just going to give you, here's the formula. Okay, so... Up to you whether you want to fill this chart or not. It's a handy way of sort of having everything in one place. Okay? So I'll let you just do that and then we'll talk about it. Okay, thanks for your patience, you guys. Okay, a couple of quick examples and then I'll give you time to work and then we'll likely have a chance to do some, uh, some myth busters here. Yeah, okay, so here's an example of what a voltage question might look like. And I think you have it there, right? The question? 
Yeah. You yeah. you have the steps as a reminder. I don't have the steps up here. You have the steps. If a battery uses 45 joules of energy with a charge of 15 coulombs, what is the electric potential of the battery? Electric potential is another fancy word for voltage. So they're solving for V. Okay, so identify what you're solving for. Solving for, so let's write the steps. So I didn't write them here, did I, right? So what do we know? 45 joules of energy. Q equals 45. How do I know that's the charge? Oh, Mr. Bennett made a mistake again. Is Q equal to 45? No. no. I didn't follow my steps here. 45 joules of energy. So E equals 45. E equals 45, right? With a charge of 15 coulombs. Charge. Q equals 15. What is the voltage? Solve for V. V is the question mark. Right? V equals E over Q. E, let's substitute, 45. Q is 15. That means divide. Your answer is 3 volts. Remember the steps were? Make sure that it's in the bottom right-hand corner. Equal signs are all lined up. We're all good. Question, sir? Oh. Okay, if it helps you to, to do this circling or putting uh, rectangles around it, please do that. But for sure, do this. As you get older and a little bit more wiser in practice and experience, that step will just sort of disappear. But for now, please do this. Okay, I'm going to insist at this level. Do that. Do you want to try the next example on your own? No. No. I'll say no. No. I heard a few no's and a couple yes. No. Yes. How, example number two. You're going to have a chance to do some anyways right away. How many joules of energy are released from a 9 volt battery that has a charge of 25 coulombs? 9 volt battery. It doesn't come right out and say that, but 9 volts means, well, the voltage is 9. V equals 9 has a charge of 25 coulombs. Charge is Q. How many joules of energy? Solve for E, not F, E. My smart board needs realignment. E equals 225 J O E L. Definitely needs a new alignment. E equals Q times V. Q is 25. V is 9. 225 joules. Right? Okay. I think, am I right? Are there five questions to try? Five to try. I've already prepared the answers. They're on the bulletin board over there. If you're struggling, you can go there. Do you have a scan code there? Are they on Schoology? They are on Schoology. Is there a scan code? There is no scan code. There is no scan code? Yes, there is. It's on the back page. On the back page, there's a scan code to the PDF of the answers. There's a scan code to the video of the answers. Okay? They're also linked on Schoology, so you have multiple ways to get to them if you need to. Okay? Self-check, either with the scan codes or the sheet on the wall. Come show me when you're done.